Perhaps the least dramatic couple so far on the 90 Day Fiancé season 9 premiere was Cara and Guillermo. They joke about an age gap, but they're in their 20s. There are paperwork hurdles, but it's likely that they'll overcome them. The promos for this season, however, have shown us that there will be more personal obstacles to overcome. Will Cara and Guillermo make to the altar after 90 days? In Touch Weekly reports that 29-year-old Cara B.A.S. and 23-year-old Guillermo Royer are indeed married. Court records show that the two tied the knot on July 23, 2021 in Albemarle County, Virginia. While most couples on the franchise's flagship series marry, given the time and expense put into the relationships, there were other huge hints about these two. Just after Cara and Guillermo made their on-screen debut, a friend of Cara's posted on Instagram. In the now-deleted post captured by Mommy Says Bad Words, the friend raved about the journey of their engagement to wedding. If you don't appear on the show or get paid by the show, you usually don't have to sign an NDA and sometimes, little slips like this happen. Our introduction to Cara Base on the premiere was entertaining. She listed many of the jobs that she has held, adding that balloon constructs are a recent line of work, something that she took up early in the pandemic. It was through a previous job that she spent a great deal of time in the Dominican Republic after laying eyes on Guillermo. A lot of people have had hot waiters and not made a move, but when Guillermo brought a tray of tequila to her table, Cara went for it. She knew that he was younger, to be clear, he was already 21, a grown adult, but he was dazzlingly hot. She gave him her number, they started hanging out, and this led to a lot of fun times in the Dr. Guillermo's seaside proposal to Cara as beautiful and perfect, and she said yes. They even adopted a dog together. Though she had to return to the United States due to the pandemic, she knew that she still wanted to be with him. So, Cara filed for the K-1 visa, putting them both through a lengthy and grueling set of hurdles. Guillermo keeps in touch with Cara and with their sweet little dog through video chats, but it's not the same. He has some reasonable anxieties about making it to the United States, even though he has his visa. Kara also has some concerns, so viewers saw her fly down to meet him. Guillermo is a total sweetheart, but don't let his good nature and dazzling smile fool you, things have not always been easy. Extreme poverty in Venezuela, where he is from, drove him to protest against the government. When Guillermo witnessed fellow protesters being fired upon by police, he knew that he had to leave, so he went to work in the Dr. Guillermo's brothers were already working in the Dominican Republic, and all of this led to him meeting Cara. However, his passport is now expired, with no realistic options for him to get it renewed. The United States allows expired Venezuelan passports with a visa. On paper, but both he and Cara know that he could be delayed or hassled. The hope is that the presence of Cara and a camera crew might discourage any security agents from violating laws or wasting Guillermo's time more than they have to. At the very least, if there are delays, Kara will be there with him. We haven't seen them make their flight back, but we're really rooting for these two so far. Let's hope that nothing that we see this season changes that.